Hello, Cartoon Mason with Temple Solel, and I hope this message findeth you well. It's almost Hanukkah! Happy Hanukkah! Chag Sameach! Happy Hanukkah! The candle used to light all the other candles on Hanukkah is called the Shamish, which literally means helper, servant, or leader. The rabbis love this little Shamish candle because it teaches us deep spiritual lessons. Some of them stare at its light for hours on end. Some of them lean closer and closer and closer until their kid says, Tati, your beard is on fire. The question is, what does this candle teach us about leadership? Well, Rabbi Jonathan Sachs, Zichrono Levracha, explains that there are two forms of leadership, power and influence. They're very different, almost opposites. Here's a thought experiment. If you have total power and you share it with nine others, you now have one-tenth of the power you originally had. Now, imagine you have a measure of influence and you share it with nine others. How much is left? Not less. In fact, more. At first there was only one of you, and now there's ten. With power, the more you share, the less you have. With influence, the more you share, the more you have. The Shamish candle represents influence, and the light represents light, which represents love, and connection, and joy, and God, and peace, and life. So just like the Shamish candle, we should each try to be like a Shamish person, spreading our light to those who need it, and to those who don't need it, and generally just having good vibes and helping others. The more you share, the more you have. As Rimeim Hashem say Shemayim Va'aretz, my help comes from God, who creates the heavens and the earth. That's the best helper, because the help will never run out because it's God. So I pray that we can all tap into this source for help when we need it, instead of drinking coffee. What am I talking about? Happy Hanukkah!